Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a really cool and easy trick to help you figure out how much of a home mortgage you can afford. If you're like many Americans right now, you are out looking for a home. It's super competitive. You're probably asking yourself, you know, what can I, what can I go in on a home? You know, what, what can I safely afford? So we're going to show you a very quick way to, to figure that out using Excel. In the personal finance world, there is a, a rule of thumb or kind of a general rule that that's pretty commonly shared. It's 28%, 36% rule. And the rule states that you, you shouldn't spend more than 28% of your gross monthly income on housing costs. So, you know, if you made $10,000 a month, you wouldn't want to spend more than $2,800 on, on housing expenses. And then the 36% part of, of the rule is that your total debt shouldn't surpass 36% of your total income. So if you have credit card debt, uh, auto loans, student loans, that type of thing, you wouldn't want those expenses plus your mortgage to, to surpass $3,600 a month. So that's to keep people, you know, financially safe and, and whatnot. But really when, when depend, deciding on how much uh, mortgage you can afford, you want to take in the whole financial picture and your personal situation. So what we're going to do is just quickly walk through how we can figure out what that, that total mortgage, what that home value can be. And so the first thing we need to know is, you know, what is your annual salary? Because we need to, we need to break this down on a monthly basis. So the first thing we're going to do is let's say that we make $80,000 a month. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then again, what's the monthly salary? So very easy. Uh, get it to a monthly basis we're going to take that annual salary divided by 12 so assuming that we make six thousand dollars a month knowing that our payment should be or could be 28 percent of our gross income what we're going to do is we are going to put in we're going to make this kind of dynamic so we can play around with it to assess different situations so we'll do that 28 percent of our gross payments so we're going to just multiply our monthly salary to our uh, 28 percent there and so this is saying that on an eighty thousand dollar salary we shouldn't be spending more than eighteen uh sixty six on uh, a mortgage payment so now that we know our payment amount what's our max payment how much house can we actually afford so the next two things we need to do the next two steps is find out how many periods how many months are we going to be paying on this on this mortgage? So if you're like many Americans, it's most likely 30 years, right? So what we're going to do again, get it on that monthly basis. So we're just going to take the 30 years, multiply it by 12 months. So we have 360 periods. And then rate is what is the interest rate that you're going to have your mortgage payment locked in at? So we're just going to go ahead and put in 3.5% uh, down here under rate. And then again, we need to get that on we need to get that on a monthly basis. So we're going to take that 3.5%, which is an annual rate, and then divide it by 12. So it's going to give us a fraction of the 3.5%. So now we have all of the different criteria to figure out how much home we can afford. So what we do is we just hit PV, which is present value. We're just looking to find out what the present value of the home is that you can afford based on these criteria. So with the PV, we're just going to go ahead and hit tab, and then it's going to ask us for the criteria. So what is the rate? So we're just going to select the rate that we came up with, the number of periods, and then hit a comma after all this stuff, and then the payment. The PMT is the payment amount. So N per is the number of periods, and a rate is our interest rate. And so once we have those three things, we can just hit a close parentheses and hit enter. So this is giving us our, our home value that we can afford. And it's showing negative, and that's just based on that it's like an investment. So like current your, your outcome, you know, money would be flowing out for an, the purchase of the home, and it would be $415,000. So as you're looking for homes, and this, this is the criteria that, that applies to you, this is probably the, the price range that you'd want to target. Again, you know, each individual or family is unique, and so there's different circumstances. So now what we have, what we can do here is go to these highlights cells and let's say we want to be a little bit more aggressive you know we don't have a lot of debt so we want to spend a little bit more on a home we can go ahead let's say let's enter 36 percent so right away our payment is bumped up and the home value we can afford that also jumps up to 534 over the the 400 and that four hundred thousand uh, dollar uh, mortgage amount so let's say though however our, our mortgage rate instead of three and a half was four and a half percent so that's going to drop from the five thousand five hundred thousand dollar amount down to the four seventy three. And let's say you know you have better, you have great credit, you have uh, good interest rates, three percent. You're going to be able to afford almost five hundred seventy thousand dollars. So you know that's why that 
great credit is so important to be able to get those great interest rates to, to be able to afford more home. And let's say, for example, you wanted to, you were feeling really aggressive, you wanted to pay the home off in 15 years. So then that payment amount, you're, you're going to see a huge drop because that's less time for you to make those periods. And so the, the home price would be $347,000. So again, you can go in here in your Excel and kind of play with these numbers based on, on what you have and figure out uh, how much home you can afford. And so super easy, super fun to kind of get in and deep dive and understand this stuff. Please let me know if this was helpful or if there's any other questions you have about this topic. I'd be happy to, to make more videos and please remember to subscribe to the Excel Bay.